Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. So in this channel, what I'm trying to focus is more to find out solutions use of data. So if you are interested in uh, machine learning, data science, then it is generally for you and you'll find a lot of different information out of it. So you can see the Python tutorial, data science learning path, a lot of different things you can browse through in this channel. So today's uh, topic is all about the one hot encoding. So what is one hot encoding? Uh, if you are very much familiar with the machine learning path and if you're learning of it so you will know that one hot encoding is a technique which can help you to find out the meaning out of categorical data suppose in the data set you can see so in the country column there are france spain germany spain the lot of different uh, columns is there so basically uh, only the country names are repeating so if you uh, use that particular data set in your uh, in your model the made the machine learning model will not understand uh, what is the country is all about so you have to uh, convert the name in a such a way that the machine learning could machine learning model or uh, algorithm could understand that uh, that meaning of that and then using that uh, values it will find out some solutions so so that's why uh, the one hot encoding is very much useful so just to tell you uh, another example suppose uh, the way i have sh shown you over here the country column you can also there could also be another column which is a uh, like a color column so in the you can see in the three colors like red green blue so after you convert uh, red green blue and whenever you apply the one hot encoding it will give you three columns uh, one two three three columns and in every column you will find uh, like uh, one zero 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 one zero 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 one or some uh, something like this like in the first column whenever there is a red then it will give you one remaining values will be zero for the green uh, it will be one for remaining values will be zero and for others it will be it, it will do the same so this is the one hot encoding and there is another one encoding which is called the label encoding it is only applicable if you know there is a relationship between the categories so you can see uh, over here, suppose in the column, uh, number column, so there is a like first, second, and third. So this is the uh, category of the numbers. So in the category, so first is signified as a one, uh, like second has been signified as two, and the third has been three. So in using that, you can just find out it. Now I'm going to show you how to do the practical uh, implementation of the one hot encoding. So for the practical imp implementation, you will have two libraries in Python. One is the Pandas library and another one is the scikit-learn library. We all know this is one of the best libraries for machine learning. So first of all, I need to just upload the data. So you can see in the uh, in the in this uh, cell, I just write the code. So it's a Pandas as PD, then I just use a panda.read.csv method to, uh, to import the data set, so basically. So, if I run the uh, cell, you can see. So this is the data. So the same data I have just um, I've just called it over here in the data variable. So you can see. So in, after that, what you can do is that you can just uh, convert the data frame. So basically, it's the data frame, and if you just apply dot values into that, it will convert it to the numpy array. So that is what I have done over here. So data dot log I have taken all the rows and all the columns. So if I run it, so it will give you the numpy array of the same data. So you can see the data. So the it, it it will give you the same data but in a numpy array format basically. So after that, what I'll do, I'll just do the one hot encoding using sklearn. So for that, I need to like uh, I need to import column transfer transformer. This is uh, one uh, basically method and another one I am uh, uh, calling which is the what one hot encoder which which we are going to do. So for that uh, we have just um, like importing those um, what should I say uh, with those uh, methods and then uh, we can apply the one hot encoding using this format. So basically after you uh, import the one hot uh, like column transformer so column transformer and the transformer uh, you should use the encoder because you're encoding something uh, and 
what is the encoding method behind it that is a one hot encoder this method so which i have called over here so you just need to apply it then you need to specify in which columns you are going to apply the one hot encoding so you can see in over here in the data so there is a country column this is a uh, categorical column and another one is the purchased column so in the purchased column there are two categories basically yes no no yes you can see that so we we are going to convert these two columns into the uh, numerical format using the one hot encoding so for that what i'm going to do is that i'm just uh, calling this cell i'm just running this cell basically so now the ct uh, like method is already implemented now i just need to use the ct which i have which is here ct dot fit transform so if you just fit it will only uh, like do the underlying uh, method behind it and if you just do the transform then it will transform the data as per the need so if i do that you'll see the magic behind it so you can see so after the fit transform it will just convert this data like country data into three columns like this 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 so whenever there is a france it will give you one so whenever there is a spain so it will give you uh, one over there so whenever there is a germany over here it will give you germany so it just convert those particular column country column into three uh, corresponding mm -hmm. columns and the similar thing has been done over there in the purchased column so in the purchased column there is a no yes yes no you can see so it just convert that into uh, this one two so whenever there is a yes that's one if zero it's zero if there is a yes is no then if is a no then it will zero so in that way it just convert the data so that is a one thing but another thing you need to always remember whenever you are doing the one hot encoding is that there could be a dummy variable trap so in the dummy variable trap what it does is that suppose uh, you're just considering this column like purchased column so yes no no yes it is already there and if you just convert that particular column into one hot encoding using that so it will give you two columns like this column and this column uh, just show you in a detailed way so you can you can see that like only these two columns is already already available over here so one is showing the yes values and another one is showing as the no values so what you can do is that you can just remove one column over here but it will represent the same uh, like uh, information so you can see so if you just uh, over here if you just remove only one column so if if you just remove the uh, no's from the data set uh, the remaining values like one and zero that will also represent the no value suppose if there is a one yes so that will represent as a one if the, that is no that that has been represented as zero but in the no column it is represented as one so using one column only you can just use the uh, like same information to the machine learning model so that is called the dummy variable trap so if you apply the both the values in the machine learning model then it will confuse the machine learning model to predict something so it is much more better approach just to remove one column from them and that will give you the uh, similar kind of good results basically so that is uh, one thing and you can also have only show the uh, like uh, example for only uh, one column but only one variable so two variable basically yes and no but it can be applied for main number of uh, like variables suppose for the country column there are basically three uh, variables like france spain germany but you have to uh, just remove last column or first column just any one column which can be represented by the other two columns so using that it will be much more better so that is what i'm going to show you in the next uh, next uh, phase which is a uh, pandas using pandas to do the one hot encoding so to do that we just call the data set again to refresh the data so you can see so i have done the same thing just uh, data hit and after that uh, we are just going to get the get dummies values so so uh, just i'll show you the magic 
so first i'll do, do the false and if i run this cell you will see that it has already converted those values like suppose country france if it says this one for germany is zero just see like this column has been converted into three columns over here okay it is much more representative in pandas you can easily understand it and for the purchased it become yes and no so basically so yes and no so that's the thing and for pandas it's a one of the best thing is that if you just use the particular like parameter argument as true so if you just give it as true then drop first is true then what it will do is just see like it just drop one column like only kept the yes column and the no column is not there it just drop because that is not necessary and the similar thing has been done over here like only germany and spain is there but for france it just removed the france so that is the beautiful thing of one hot encoding basically after you convert this value uh, and you, you need to remove the numbers over here you can see using the other methods uh, and then you can apply this uh, data set into the machine learning model to find out some solutions find them some wonderful things in using the machine learning and this sort of things so the conclusion would be you need to always understand the data first you need to understand the what is the problem statement and how you are uh, going to find out the solution of it if there is some other way of doing it other than the one hot inputting uh, to apply it in a machine learning model just do it just try to approach different things so that is the beauty of machine learning you need to understand the data and play around with the data and do a lot of different things then you can find out the solutions basically so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon next next week thank you